Hello and welcome to our discussion on the financial statements. In this session, we will try to understand the interrelationship between financial statements. In the process, we'll see that the balance sheet changes can be explained by the income statement and cash flow statement. In other words, if the opening balance sheet is given and the closing balance sheet is given and an income statement is given but if the cash flow statement is not given it is possible to find the cash flow statement determine cash from operation cash from financing and cash from investment by understanding the interrelationship between these financial statements so given this information we will try to find CFO, CFF and CFI in the process complete the cash flow statement we know that cash was as at the end of the year is 52,710 and there is no opening cash in hand so we will start with the CFO indirect method which will show the relationship between CFO and the profit. So we'll take profit after tax and we know that profit is not equal to CFO because of the non-cash items, because of the non-operating items and because of the credit items like credit sales, credit purchases, credit expenses. Let us see what are how these, these items are visible in the balance sheet and income statement. Depreciation is a non-operating, non-cash item. So we add back depreciation because while computing PAT it has been deducted. Interest is a non-operating item as per IFRS and Indian GAAP. So we are adding back because it is a non-operating item. Dividend received has been shown as an income but dividend received is a non-operating income. So therefore we are deducting it while computing the PAT. So non-cash, non-operating and non-operating items. The rest are called the credit items which are also called the changes in the current assets and current liabilities or changes in the working capital. So therefore we'll see outstanding salary, we'll see creditors, we'll see debtors and the stock changes. Outstanding creditors there is an increase in outstanding salary so that means during the period we have not paid money to that extent so there is no cash flow on this particular item. Decrease in the creditors means we paid money during the period which was not recorded in the cash flow statement so we will deduct money to that extent. Debtors increase in the debtors that means we sold goods on credit so the increase in debtors is a reduction to the extent of the cash flows 95,000 minus then stock decrease in the stock decrease in stock decrease in stock that means we purchase stock in the last period we use the stock in the current period no cash flow to that effect in the current year so cash from operation is minus 56,850 despite the fact that the PAT is 20,650 now let us see cash from cash from financing and cash from operation. The cash from financing will show 
the net effect of the financing decisions and the financing decisions can be seen by observing the changes in a capital, changes in a reserve, changes in a loan and the interest. So during the period increase in capital, so issue of capital, increase in capital has happened and we treat that as a inflow of cash. So increase in capital to the extent of 150,000 is a cash inflow. We can also see that loan or reserves, there is a change in the reserve and the change in reserve happens because we have might have paid dividend. We can see that the dividend in this case 80,000 is the opening reserve plus the profit which is of the current period minus the closing reserve so will give us the dividend paid during the period so dividend paid during the period is equal to the dividend paid during the period is equal to opening reserve plus the profit for the period plus the profit for the period minus the closing reserve will give the dividend paid during the period. So which is an outflow in a financing. Then we see the loan. So loan taken, loan taken is an inflow of money. So increase in the loan. So to that extent 50,000 is an inflow of cash. And during the period there is interest and there is no outstanding interest so interest paid is an outflow of cash 4500 so the summation of this the summation of all these inflows and outflows will give cash from financing decision is a positive cash flow cash from operation is negative cash from financing in this case is positive we raised money during the period let me bring the cash from investment here cash from investment will show the changes in the non-operating assets so the change in the plant there is no change in the plant no purchase no sale but whereas there is a change in the shares that means we have acquired or purchased shares and we have received dividend so dividend received is an inflow of cash 10,000 and purchase of shares purchase of shares is an outflow of cash due to the investment decision so minus 50,000 so therefore minus 50,000 okay so which is equal to 100 minus 150 so the cash from operation or cash from investment decision is equal to the dividend received minus the dividend uh, the purchase of share so there is a cash from investment is once again negative so we have negative cash from operation we have positive cash from financing and we have negative cash from investment activity so if we put all of them together if we put all of them together we get the cash will get the cash flow statement for the period and the cash flow statement for the period will be opening cash in hand which is zero plus CFO which is minus 56,800 plus CFF which is plus 149,000 and plus CFI which is minus 40,000 okay minus 40,000 so 
cash in hand is equal to the summation of opening cash in hand plus CFO plus CFI and plus CFF. So opening cash in hand is equal to 0 and the closing cash in hand is same as what is given in the balance sheet 52,710. So given the information if the balance sheet opening and closing are given income statement given it is possible to find and prepare the cash flow statement by understanding the interrelationship between these three financial statements. In the process we have seen that CFO is not same as PAD because of non-cash, because of non-operating and because of the credit transactions. And the summation of CFO, CFI and CFF plus the opening cash in hand is a closing cash in hand. Thank you very much.